So let's talk about organized wiring closets. In the realm of chaotic, unorganized data cabling closets, it's a place where cables engage in a wild dance of disorder, intertwined like spaghetti in a bowl cooked by a chef who's lost all sense of restraint. Welcome to the jungle, where the idea of cable management is as foreign as a penguin in the Sahara. Here's the labyrinth of wires. Customers look upon their handiwork with a mixture of pride and bewilderment. It's a bit messy, but we know where everything goes, sort of, they declare, with the confidence of a magician who's forgotten the magic words, but is still waving the wand. Navigating this tangle is like trying to solve a Rubik's Cube blindfolded while riding a unicycle. The colors of the cables, once bright and distinct, now seem to merge into a singular hue of confusion. Attempting to trace a single cable is akin to playing a high-stakes game of Jenga, where one wrong move could bring the whole network crashing down. This place isn't a wiring closet. It's a modern art masterpiece titled Chaos and Despair. Technicians brave enough to venture into this wild must be equipped with maps, breadcrumbs, and perhaps a compass to navigate the treacherous terrain of rogue ethernet cables and power cords that have long since forgotten their purpose. So dear customer, with your wild, untamed cabling closets, remember, cable management is not just a suggestion, it's the lifeline of your network's sanity. Embrace the cable tie, the cable management panels, and worship the label maker. And perhaps one day your server room will be less Indiana Jones and more like a Zen garden. Until then, may your network stay up and your cables at least somewhat untangled.